Hi everyone, this is Adrian from Ozlis and today I'm very excited to show you one more tool that you can use to increase your betting performance. Today's video we're going to show you a little bit of, uh, of the theory behind the tool that uh, we here at Ozlis developed for you along with the use case for this tool to help you find uh, value bets and place winning bets accordingly. So let's get started. First, the tool that we developed is based on a fairly well-known statistical distribution. It's called the Poisson distribution and this is a discrete probability distribution that expresses the probability of a given number of events, in the games of football, number of goals scored during a match, occurring in a fixed interval of time or space if these occur events occur with an known constant rate and independently of the time since the last event. Based on this definition, a, a football game matches pretty well the Poisson distribution. And you may ask yourself how well this distribution fares uh, against uh, football matches. This is an uh, example here on the first table and on this graph we have the stats for the Premier League home goals in 2017. Here on the first column is the numbers of uh, goals per match. In the second column is the actual number of games where this particular number of goals uh, were scored by the home team. And on the fourth column we have the number of games that should have happened according to the Poisson distribution. So, as you can see, the number of uh, matches where there were no goals scored by the home team was 86 and the Poisson distribution uh, predicted, let's say, uh, 85. Obviously, during an entire league, there are big differences between teams, so the model may not be well suited to represent uh, accurately the reality of the, the entire league. For this reason, we decided to see how this model fares against uh, one uh, team. So here, in uh, the second table, you have the similar data, but for only for Manchester City team. And it includes games played at home between 2012 and 2017. The differences between the uh, reality and what the Poisson distribution model uh, predicted are fairly uh, close and that can be easily seen on the graph on the right. We have the intuition here that the Poisson distribution could be suitable for being used to predict the number of uh, goals scored by a certain team during uh, a match. This uh, model is believed by some that it's um, used by the big bookmakers to calculate the initial probabilities and odds for the matches. After looking at the Poisson distribution and analyzing how viable it would be to uh, use it as the basis of a football uh, prediction tool, we decided to build a tool that we want to share with you, a tool that uh, we think it will help uh, your betting performance increase tremendously. So without further ado, let's uh, see the tool. This is an Excel file which requires uh, very little input from your part you only have to enter the data here in this section and everything else uh, will happen automatically uh, on this section. In the left side the tool calculates the percentages, the probabilities of a certain event to happen and on the right side it shows the same numbers but represented as payouts. For example uh, on this side of the screen you have the chances of the home team to score zero goals the chances to score one, two, three, four, five, six and so on uh, the same for the away team 
uh, chances of scoring zero goals, one goal, two goals and so on. Based on these numbers uh, the matrix of final scores is calculated so this is uh, the chance of uh, the match ending in 0-0 zero, zero. this is uh, the chance of the game ending in 1-3 uh, and so on and so forth once we have the probabilities for each possible uh, final score we can calculate other additional probabilities for other types of events here we have uh, both team to score yes and no over under uh, over 0 0.5 under 0 0.5 and so on and so forth we have the probabilities for a specific uh, end result of the match and here we have the probabilities for the double chance on the right side you see these probabilities converted into um, bookmaker payouts basically you see here what would be the minimum payout that uh, the bookmaker should offer in order for you to make a bet so for example zero zero they will have to give you at least uh, 16 to make you place the bet these numbers here are calculated based on the probabilities here but also using the assumed bookmaker margin some bookmakers have uh, three percent some have five and some can go up to seven or i don't know maybe even more but usually that's uh, less than seven you are able to find online uh, a way to determine what's the bookmakers margin on the right side as you can see besides uh, showing you the bookmakers payouts that should uh, be offered in order for you to place a bet we also have the uh, formulas to calculate the value of a bet and the Kelly criterion for that specific bet uh, if you don't know what the value of the bet is or Kelly criterion uh, please uh, check out our article about the Kelly criterion and uh, the value bets we also have offered an Excel file uh, for free that uh, allows you to calculate the Kelly criterion for a specific uh, bet so this is the Excel file what you have to do is uh, provide the number of average goals scored by the home team and the average goal scored by the away team additionally we implemented uh, an advanced feature for people that also want to take into account the average goals conceded by the home team and the average goals conceded by the away team in order for uh, the goals conceded to be taken into account while calculating all these probabilities you need to specify how important the goals conceded are with respect to the goals scored so for example here it's 50 percent this means that the goals conceded are as important as the goals scored if i put uh, 33 percent then it means the goals conceded are half as important than as the goals scored and so on and so forth you can even put 100 percent and that would mean that the formula will take into account only the goals uh, conceded I use 50% for my betting uh, so we'll keep it that way while looking at this the obvious question is how do I calculate the numbers of goals scored or the goals conceded this is where you as a professional better have to come forth and shine I will show you an example of how I use it for my betting but choosing uh, how to determine the average goals scored or conceded is an art and uh, a science at the same time so let me show you using this match Newcastle versus Brighton that will take place in uh, October uh, 20th as always when I am analyzing a match I filter by uh, the game of the same type so this will show me 
for Newcastle only games played at home and for Brighton only games played away. So to determine the number of average goals conceded I sort by attack similarity and I choose the last uh, five matches that were similar with respect to to attack. So we have three goals, two goals, this is five, six, seven, seven matches in five games. So I go here and put seven matches in five games. Now I go to Brighton and looking at the same five matches in the past, no, two, four, five. Five goals in five matches. In order to use the average, to determine the average goals conceded, I sort by defense similarity. I also look at the most similar five matches and I see zero goals conceded, two goals conceded, uh, plus two is four, five, five. So there are five goals conceded in five matches and the Brighton side the last five matches goals conceded two, three, five, seven. So I put seven out of five goals conceded. Now I enter the data and now I have everything I need to calculate the probabilities for this specific game. Now as I said on the right side you have value of the bet and the Kelly criterion. So I usually bet on only on the end result and I put here the actual payouts from the bookmakers. So let's say the bookmakers would give me 1.65 for a home team uh, winning. It would give me 4.3 for a draw and it would give me uh, 3.8 for uh, the away team winning and here you see the value of the bet is calculated this instructs me to place the bet on uh, the away team winning and the Kelly criterion will tell me how much of the betting stake uh, I should use to place this bet. It's 2% so if I were to have 100 euros on my betting account I should put 1.6 euros for this bet. This um, tool that we created is uh, free. You can download it from our website on the link below if you subscribe to our newsletter. Once you're subscribed, you will receive an email with the download link. What else can we say? Happy betting and see you next time.